Hi, this is Tiffany Real, you guys. And I just want to know, what the heck happened to comedy? There used to be a time when comedy was your respite. You would go and you put on a record or a pop in a cassette, and you just laugh, 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 because comedians would talk about anything, everything, and everybody. Now everybody's all into their feelings, and comedians don't know what the heck to do. You know, Kevin Hart's been in the news lately, and he's been apologizing to the Indians, Native Americans. He's been apologizing to the LGBTQ. He's been apologizing for wiping his ass. Why? He's a freaking comedian. He is not a goddamn Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Louis Farrakhan. He's Kevin Hart, a freaking comedian. And he should be able to say what he wants to, and nobody should be offended, especially about shit that happened 10 years ago. I like Cat Williams. I like Mike Epps. But I love Corey Holcomb because, to me, he's the only one that's being true to the crab. He does not give a flying flip. And that's why I listen to 5150 all the time. When I'm driving overnight and I need a laugh, something to keep me awake, I put on 5150 because I know that Corey's going to bring the funny. Does he make me laugh all the time? No, sometimes he's off his game. Does he um, insult a lot of people? Yes. Does he make you question, why am I listening to him? But at the end of the day, he's funny. And he stays true to himself and his craft because he understands what comedy is about. And I appreciate that. And it's sad that comedy today has to be watered down because everybody is so into their motherfucking feelings. And the thing is, you can talk about somebody, but the comedian better not say nothing or else I'm going to make his ass apologize and apologize and apologize until I feel like it was sincere. Get a life, get your life, and leave these comedians alone so they can do their job, which is make us laugh. Thank you and good night.